Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Dr. Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. How many of you have had an ECG done before or have heard of an ECG test? Have you ever wondered what it's for and how it's done? Let's dive a little deeper into it today. Before we start, please click on the subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so. So what is an ECG? It is a non-invasive test that is done in the clinic that detects and records the electrical activity of the heart. In my clinic, I use it usually to assess a few things. Number one, the rhythm of the heart, whether it's too fast, too slow, regular or irregular. Secondly, whether there are any blockages of the heart arteries. And sometimes I use it also as a monitoring tool in my patient who has hypertension to assess if the heart is being overworked. For example, when my patient complains of chest pain, I use the ECG to assess if he or she is having a heart attack. And occasionally, if my patient says that they are having palpitations, I use the ECG to see if his or her heart rhythm is regular or irregular. It's a vital tool in a family clinic or your neighborhood GP clinic. And so now let's have a closer look at the machine. Okay guys, hi, welcome to the clinic. This is where we keep our ECG machine. So as you can see from here, this is the ECG main machine and the main machine is actually hooked up to 10 electrodes uh, of which we have the four limb electrodes to the hands and the legs and we have six more um, chest electrodes which is then connected to the body of the patient, right? So today we'll have uh, Alvin here who will be our model for the testing out of the ECG machine. So let's go. Okay, so currently uh, you're seeing Alvin actually lying on the treatment bed. I'm going to proceed to hook on the ECG chest leads. Okay, the chest leads uh, will be V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and 6. Okay, so for V1, it will actually be on the right of the patient, okay, on the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. V2 lead will be on the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum, following which we will hook up V4 which is just under nipple and V3 will be between V2 and V4 leads V6 will be along the mid axillary line which is on the same level as V4 and then we will have V5 which is in between V4 and V6 okay then, now we will hook up the limb leads Okay, so one goes to the right hand The other one goes to the left hand And we have the leg leads This is the right leg and this is the left leg okay so with that we have the setup of the ECG done already okay so now that we have already hooked up the ECG leads on Alvin uh, we can now take a real-time look at the ECG machine on the ECG machine you can see on the from the top left all the way to the top uh, bottom left you have lead 1, lead 2, lead 3, AVR, AVL, AVF and on the right column you can see at the top lead V1 down all the way to lead V6 so on the ECG machine physically there are 10 electrode leads but when you are actually reading it on the ECG machine the machine interprets it as 12 leads and then what we can do once the rhythm is up you can press on the print button and that's when the strip of ECG rhythm comes out 
and using this we can show this to the patient and they can bring this home or we can upload this into our electronic medical system so now coming back to um, the ECG are there any complications in doing an ECG I don't think so and there's no pain at all for the patient no preparation is usually necessary and no fasting is required all right hope that this may provide you with more information about an ECG and when the next time your family doctor orders an ECG for you you would already have the necessary information again please click on the subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so this will allow you to receive notifications whenever we produce a new video so till the next time stay safe stay healthy